Well, hey, and good morning, and uh, welcome to today's Advent reading. Uh, I'll be reading from the Gospel of Luke, the fifth chapter, beginning at verses 17 through 26. And uh, I hope today's story will have a meaning and purpose for you. It says, One day Jesus was teaching, and Pharisees and teachers of the law were sitting there. They had come from every village of Galilee and from Judea and Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was with Jesus to heal the sick. Some men came carrying a paralyzed man on a mat and tried to take him into the house to lay him before Jesus. But when they could not find a way to do this because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and lowered him on his mat through the tiles in the middle of the crowd, right in front of Jesus. When Jesus saw their faith, he said, friend, your sins are forgiven. The Pharisees and the teachers of the law began thinking to themselves, who is this fellow who speaks blasphemy? Who can forgive sins but God alone? Jesus knew what they were thinking and asked, why are you thinking of these things in your heart? Which is easier to say your sins are forgiven or to say get up and walk? But I want you to know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. And so he said to the paralyzed man, I tell you, get up, take up your mat, and go home. Immediately he stood up in front of them, took what had been he had been lying upon, and went home praising God. Everyone was amazed and gave praise to God. They were filled with awe and said, we have seen remarkable things today. My friends, there's there's lots of meaning to this story, and you've heard this uh, story numerous times in numerous sermons. But this morning, as we continue our journey towards Advent, there's really one area I just want you to be thinking about today. How is uh, God perhaps inviting you to take steps of courage today? Uh, what mat may you be lying on that God is saying, get up and, and move towards so that others would would stand in awe, not of, not of you, but of the work that God is doing in you and through you. Father, we just pray that we would be a people of courage as we continue to prepare our hearts and our minds for this time of Advent. Help us to walk with courage so that people would come to, to experience and to be in awe of your power and your grace. Friends, it's been great to be with you again this morning. I pray that you have a blessed day and that you continue to take steps of courage in all that you do.